So when Apple released the most expensive Apple Watch, the Apple Watch Ultra, Apple teased the new activities low power mode for the Apple Watch Ultra that would enable users to be able to get up to 60 hours of usage using activities that require heart rate and GPS. Now with this new Apple Watch Ultra, I'll be happy to let you know that that is finally here and I'm going to be telling you all you need to know in this video. First things first, the first thing you need to know is that on your Apple Watch Ultra right out the box, if you were to just take it and just start performing different activities, for example, like outdoor walk, and this requires heart rate and it also requires GPS, doing something like this, you'd be able to get somewhere around 12 hours of battery life. But with this new low power mode, you'll be able to jump from the 12 to 60 hours plus now there are downsides to this and unfortunate or disadvantages and the first one that i have to mention here is that this is actually not supported for custom workouts so if you go in your workouts app and you go to the bottom and you want to create like a custom workout this is something that isn't supported yet and also things to note is that this is only available for certain selected workouts and those workouts are outdoor run outdoor walk and hiking so those are the only three workouts that support this new ultra low power mode and it's only supported in this apple workouts app if you have a third party application that you use for your workouts or activities this is not supported so those are the disadvantages and there are basically three modes of gps on the apple watch ultra that you need to know the first one if you just get your apple watch right from the box brand new and you do an activity like i mentioned you get somewhere between 12 hours to somewhere about 15 hours but then if you go into your apple watch ultra settings and then you go to the bottom where it says workouts and you turn on this low power mode under workouts you notice that turning on low power mode during a workout you have the ability to see more information and it tells you what it does by saving battery life turning off always on display and limiting the sensors as well as cellular and wi-fi connectivity activity of your apple watch and you notice some of the background alerts and measurements are limited so that is the usual low power mode that we have and if you turn on this new low power mode or this existing low power mode rather and you go and do a workout would we'll use the same outdoor run or outdoor walk as an example where this connectivity is reduced however you still have somewhat of a full heart rate sensing watch and also you still have full gps sensing now let's go back into the settings app and see the new advanced low power mode that you have here on the apple watch ultra it says during low power mode you you have this option where you can enable fewer gps and heart rate readings now if you enable this you notice that it preserves the battery life in walking running and hiking so unfortunately those are the only supported workouts at this time by reducing the frequency of GPS and heart rate readings and turning off alerts splits and segments this this mode does not apply to other types of workouts it also does not apply to custom paces and workouts so in your workout app if you have a custom workout that you have created or have modified some of these existing workouts then unfortunately this new advanced low power mode won't be supported so you can see how you can turn it on it's right there and it says fewer gps and heart rate readings and when you turn this on and you actually go into your workout app and begin a supported workout for example the outdoor walk which is one of the three supported you will see that it will give you this notification that says fewer gps heart rate readings this preserves battery life but reduces the frequency of gps and heart rate readings during your workouts now there are things to note and if you want to restore gps and heart rate you can just click here where it says restore gps and heart rate however if you want to continue you can click continue and you'll be able to begin your workout you can see here that 
gps and heart rate are limited always on is limited connectivity is limited and gps readings in this new low power mode are done once every two minutes and heart rate readings are done once every one minute and with this new advanced low power mode with limited uh, gps accuracy and heart rate accuracy you can be able to get up to 60 hours of usage on your apple watch ultra that is the new and advanced apple watch uh, settings that's here and for you to actually be able to turn this on you need to be able to go into your settings and go to where it says general and go to where it says software update and make sure you are updated to the latest watchOS version which at this time is watchOS 9.1 you can see the version that i have here 9.1 and the build is 20s75 so if you aren't on watchOS 9.1 you won't see that new advanced low power mode with reduced gps and heart rate sensing that will be able to take you from 12 hours to 60 hours of battery life and since this uses like some limited parameters such as reduced gps and uh, heart rate readings this apple watch ultra actually uses the computational algorithms set to the apple watch maps data and various sensors such as the gyroscope as well as the compass that you have on the apple watch ultra to be able to give you an compensate for some of the areas where gps and heart rate are sensing or are lacking rather and also the barometer is used to fill in some of the gaps so in conclusion this new low power mode that we have here on the apple watch ultra is one that's sort of limited because one it's not supported in all workouts that we have and also you can see that it does limit some sensors and also it's not yet supported in other third-party applications and it's really meant for ultra marathons like cross country or where you are running across a barren territory where passive location doesn't really matter that much as gps is really going to be limited like i mentioned and usually people who want to go for like a marathon or who want to run for a really long distance they don't usually carry their phone around they probably just carry the apple watch and some sort of audio device and they can listen to audio books or perhaps some music but other than that it seems to be here and that's how you can enable this new low power mode with fewer gps and heart rate readings so that's about it for me when it comes to this new low power mode that we have here on the apple watch ultra if you like this video do leave a like and if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and definitely I will keep in touch and give you more updates on this when it comes out to more apps and also when it opens up to more workouts as I've mentioned now. That's about it for me. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.